So gonna be really quick and fast. Next up we have Tiffy. Now something super cool about Tiffy is that she's actually the only lady that is gonna be in our art stack. <laughs> Tiffy studies English literature in Furen Dashue and she's really passionate about art, music, and most of all Taipei City. So she's gonna give you some more ideas of how what she thinks about Taipei City with her talk, City Yeast. Let's welcome Tiffy. Good evening, everyone. Uh, as you can see, I'm Tiffy, and I'm a girl. I uh, hope that's obvious. And I'm young. So what made me stand over here to give a speech? It's all because of City Yeast. City Yeast is a nonprofit organization, and I was a volunteer in that nonprofit organization. What City Yeast does is to make the city more attractive and more adherent for everyone and for the residents and the visitors. But do you think any audience think that Taipei City, who live in Taipei City, do you think this city is attractive for everyone? Do you think it's attractive? For me, it's not at all. So what City Yeast does is to gather more and more people from different areas and use their professions and thoughts to provide a better better environment and to create a better environment for people who live in Taipei City. So while my experience that, I was a volunteer in Treasure Hill Artist Village, which is over there in Gongguan. And what I did was to give out those stickers and balloons to visitors. To be more specific, uh, those visitors will come to me and ask me for the stickers and balloons. Well, uh, in, to my surprise, I found that people are really friendly because I used to think that Taipei people, usually uh, residents who live in Taipei, are indifferent. Well, I have to admit, I'm mostly one of those indifferent people. And by this experience, I did chat with lots of strangers, which I think everyone is so friendly. So I really love that experience. So it's a brand new experience for me to be the volunteer in Treasure Hill Artist Village. And those uh, programs was designed by City Yeast. City Yeast is a is an organization which narrowing the gaps between strangers and it shortens the distance between strangers. So that's what I love about City Yeats. And that is a program which designed by City Yeats too. It was a thought at the beginning. It called City Traveler, which allowed people to rent tents and to live in everywhere in Taipei City. But it was just a thought in the beginning. However, it actually put into practice in 2011. Like there's lots of there's kind of people who actually uh, have a tent in the Huashan Grassland, and there's a guy who actually live in there for one day by recording the sounds, the lights, and the experience who live there. This whole program is called City Camping, which let people to experience the life in city without living in the big tall buildings. I think people in Taipei are usually usually familiar with the feeling to live in the big, big tall city. We thought that like, well, it's like a shelter for us. So it's a brand new experience for us to have this experiment of city camping. However, this program is not only done by uh, city is, it's also done by people in Shanghai. Shang uh, Shanghainese tend to live in their roofs to have tents because they think it's a brand, brand new way for them to experience their vacation, like they don't have much time to go travel. And that is a picture from a, uh, American and Europe. They think that it's a car like tents to live in, so it's really different from the usually tents. And actually, they, usually, they also park their cars in their city, and they live in those parking space. And it was really fun that like you see someone who lives in the car like tents in the parking lot. But however, that's not the only thing done by the city is. They also create some programs such as city, city ecosystems, which they allow animals and people who actually live together in the same city. And they also design some cool events and special designs and some city issues like this. This is the design uh, by Aqua, and she thinks that the parking lot should be more fashionable. Like we also see the, uh, parking lots are usually wide and like not fashion at all, not design. So she creates some events and creates some designs. Such as these pictures. It also have a 
programs which allows the taxis have more designable. Like for people, like we also always think that the taxi should be yellow and nothing else besides ads. So what I think is that like everyone like in our city, we should ask ourselves, are we satisfied with what we see every day? Do you think there's anything we should pay more attention to for our city? So I think that city is like, come and join us. Let's make the city better and make yourself better. Thank you.